wrestling organization online. We're going to go there straight away. Woo game. Uh, okay. So basically, this is an online uh, game, wrestling game, um, where you uh, collect player cards, superstar cards, and things like that. And you can put matches together, like you put a card together, and you can compete against other people online. And I don't know too, 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 too much about the whole back end and the Hive blockchain and the crypto part of it and everything else. But what I do know and what I do like about it is Hive thing, it's a very, it's a very community-based um, platform. And there's all kinds of different shit that people are putting on this Hive blockchain. They're putting like a, it, like an, it's called in Leo, which is like a, a Twitter type platform. Uh, there's Peak D, which is like a long form blog uh, type community. And there's all different kinds of video games on there. And there's like a video streaming uh, thing on there. So you could pretty much develop anything you want on this blockchain. And it's all community based and it's all cool. And there's actually, unlike normal crypto, like here, Bitcoin, which is just money based, based on no money, on nothing for some reason. I don't, I don't really understand that either. But this, at least, there's some sort of something behind it, um, some sort of utility mm. um, where it actually makes sense. So with the Woo part, um, it's an online video game. You can buy, uh, like I said, crates and items and things, and you open them and surprise what you're going to get. Um, we're partnered with uh, Perry Saturn is involved, Sonny Ono, Terry Reynolds, uh, Ernest Miller, uh, Just Incredible, uh, my old buddy Tajiri. Uh, he's all signed on. Uh, and it's cool. So you collect our player cards. And then, like I said, you can make all your collections. And then you can set up cards and matches and play against other players. Uh, and the good thing about the card thing is, unlike a traditional, traditional, can you say traditional, about an NFT? at this point um it's actually a card that you own so you own this player card with these attributes that say tajiri has and you own it so if you want to trade your tajiri card for a perry saturn card or sell it so someone else can buy it um like i said there's utility to it and there's actual ownership not like say like the nba top shot nfts where you're just basically buying an espn video clip that you really can't do anything with but look at so at least with the woo stuff you can actually play a game yeah i i do like a general management yeah. sim as well and these kind of things on like the art the old rpgs and so i don't how big of a gamer are you there you go not you've never been a gamer. at all not real. i mean i've had like playstation xbox but i never really like hey what's the cool guy i'll play madden mm. you know fifa Ah, well, I'm glad you mentioned FIFA so, as well because with the cards and you buying the cards and then you're sort of you know battling with the cards with the wrestlers' attributes on them yes. is is very FIFA like uh, with the crates and okay. the loot as well in in that sense I believe. Back in the late '80s, '90s, there was a hockey game called Stratomatic, where you actually had physical cards that you would put your team together and then you roll the dice and based on the dice and player combinations you had compared to what they had would determine on what happened on that particular play. So it was, it's, it's similar to that in my opinion, yeah. which is cool. Like I said, there's, you're actually owning something that you can use. Not like a, a typical NFT where here's a picture of a frog smoking a cigarette on a mountain. <laughs> that just it's there. Uh, how so, do you, how do you guys, cool. how do you guys benefit from it? Um, we actually, we get, I believe we all share, they call us partners. So all the partners, all the wrestlers, we share in 10% of the profits of the game. And anytime one of our specific cards is sold, we get uh, 100% of the transaction fees and all that stuff that, that goes along with it. So mm -hmm. it's it's cool. I, I Like I said, I don't know too, too much about it. I'm kind of new to it. Um, but what our, our buddy, the Booker Man... I won't say his real name because I don't know if people know what his real name is. It's Kevin Sullivan. But yes, yes, <laughs> he's the Booker Man. He waves a giant pencil at me. He tells me <laughs> what to say and when to say it. That's cool. So it's Woo.game is the 
website you could check out. There's links to the Discord and all that good stuff on there. And in the Discord, if you join the Discord and ask questions, the community is very helpful at just spitting out, oh, try to do this or go here and look at this and, and go here and do this. So it's if I could figure it out at 50 years old and actually kind of, okay, I kind of get it. Um, kids watching this can can do it. So Also, you have a cool. blog on the Hive slash Peaked as well, and I actually read through quite a few of them. So well, before, um, I'm sorry, carry on. No, that's, I was going to bring that up too. The whole, so the Peaked is, is the long form blog. Uh, site that I use. There might be other ones, but Peak, these are the one I like. Um, and, and you can make money. This, and this is the part that blows my mind. So you hear about creating a blog, and if you want to set up a blog, you can eventually monetize your blog and make money. Right? That, that's everybody's goal when they do a blog, and a WordPress and all that stuff. But, but this is like, once you get in the community, people just by liking your blog... And when you like a blog, there's certain percentage points of your your voting power, I guess they kind of call it, um, how much that you can designate to that blog, how much you like. And the, the more you're involved and the more you get into it, the more credibility and the more uh, power you have, you can go vote higher and higher. So like there are blogs I'm writing that are just me, and I have like 49 followers maybe, that, that's making me like 45 bucks mm. just writing blog posts. You know, so, I mean, it's it's cool. It's, plus, you can inter interact with people, you know. And you see people on there, they're making 10 cents for post and things like that. But it doesn't really cost you anything. You're just going on there, you're doing your thing, and then you're just upvoting. And little by little, you amass quality. I guess if, if you want to buy some of their crypto, I guess you can increase your buying power and your voting power. But for right now, it's just fun. Like, I'm blogging. I'm getting stuff out that's stuck in my head. And I usually use Twitter, but you're kind of limited to what you could put on Twitter as far as character counts and things. So this is peak D. I'm kind of, I'm digging it. 